Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I've got a stylish racing game featuring future space people driving their exoskeletons in their underwear. It's Kinetica for PlayStation 2. I'll tell you what, this game took me by surprise. I'd never heard of Kinetica. It definitely looked cool from the packaging. But that can be said for a lot of games that aren't Good. However, this one is. But what happened to it? Where did Kinetica go? As far as I know, this is the only release in this series, and if you enjoy games like Wipeout or F-Zero, I think you're gonna love this. It's very similar, yet has a style that sets it apart. As you can tell, you're racing in bodysuits called Kinetic Suits, which usually require your ass to be hanging out if you're one of the girls. It's funny when you say it like that, but it has a cool, sexy style that totally works for the game. Like a lot of other racing games, you can pull off stunts in the air or stunts on the ground. It's actually not that easy to do because you need a straightaway. That'll give you some additional boost. And I'm going to recommend that you buy this, but make sure you get a copy that comes with the art book so you can enjoy the character drawings. It's got a great style to it, and the music works equally well. The soundtrack is filled with electronic tunes that fit the gameplay style perfectly, and you get plenty of tracks to enjoy in Kinetica. There's a lot of racing in here, and it's not an easy game. It's actually extremely challenging, because it doesn't feel like Wipeout or F-Zero or Extreme G or any other racing series. It's just got its own little thing. It's hard to describe. Your kinetic suits are extremely twitchy, and you've got to race a good game using a lot of boost to come out in the top three. There's a number of different characters to choose from, a bunch of girls, a couple of the guys who are larger and have more mass, so they're not going to get pushed around the track as much. But I prefer the pink girl here, Zia, who is unmasked after you win the championship with her. She's the most agile, and I think that works well for this game because you just want to dart and zip around the track really fast. Dull right into the fan blade. I think the track designs in Connecticut are fantastic. Extremely cool futuristic style, and they just get harder and harder and harder. So repeat gameplay and track memorization is a must. There's usually multiple ways to get through each course as well. Collecting five of those gems will give you a random power-up. Usually about half the time it's boost, and that comes in quite handy. There's a couple offensive attacks, but not too many, not nearly as many as you'll find in Wipeout. And I wonder if the Wipeout series is the reason that we don't have more Kinetica games. They're both dark futuristic racing games, which are both good. And Wipeout is probably easier to sell. But Kinetica has more G-strings, and guys like looking at girls' bottoms, especially when driving over 200 miles an hour. Kinetica does have the sex sells factor, and pretty much everything else in the game is good too, so I would consider it extremely underrated these days, and a good buy. It runs smoothly, plays well, it's fun, it's stylish, it's a great racing game. So a huge classic game room shout out and thank you to Oliver from Alameda, California for sending this to the show, and Oliver wants me to give a shout out to his friend Cyrus at Emerson College in Boston who claims to be 
the best Connecticut driver in the universe. And if that's true, Cyrus, I think you should show your love by dressing as Xenon for Halloween. Hopefully it's not cold that day. After each race, you can enjoy a replay. There's some unlockable characters. You can race a friend, and I don't have anything else to tell you except buy this game. If you like futuristic racing games, it's worth checking out. Like I said in my recent review of Ace Combat 4, this looks good on the PlayStation 2. Just imagine what a new one using the best hardware would look like. Connecticut is extremely cool, so thanks again, Oliver. I've had a great time playing this one. Highly recommend it. Connecticut.